<clears throat> What's up guys, we're here going to talk about stocks, so as always, standard disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only, nothing should be taken as legal advice or investment advice, please do your own research and invest at your own risk, investing is risky, you can lose all kinds of money, you can make lots of money, hey, it's investing, that's what happens, anyway, GameStop, let's talk GameStop because that's why everyone is here, so... What happened today in GameStop was nuts. We had a huge rally, so it opened up at $53, and then it skyrocketed up to the moon to $82.77. It looked like the GameStop was having a recovery. Now, let's dig deeper into why this happened. Well, it's very, very obvious why this happened. Robinhood actually lifted all the restrictions on trading on GameStop. So now you can buy as many shares as you want on and Robinhood, which opened up the buying pool to all the buyers that, you know, used to buy GameStop a week ago, you know, crazy as that is. So when that happened, mass euphoria, increase, 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 up to the moon. But unfortunately, the hedge fund guys are, are rich. They have lots and lots of money. We don't have that infinite money. They have pretty much infinite money. And uh, at shorting the stock at $80 and $85, that seems like a really, really good idea for them because they know there's no catalyst coming to help this stock go up in value. And so then you see the short guys just shorting, 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 and dropping this price down to $67.29. And it's you know, hovering right around there, slowly decreasing down as morale continues to decline in the Wall Street Bets community and the GameStop supporters continue to bleed money off. So yes, you did make some money if you bought in at 53.76 and you're still up today. You're still up about $7, which is, you know, good for you, but it's nothing compared to the 70 or $80 that you were up you know, if you sold at the peak of the time here and you have to really think about what is going to be moving the stock. Again, disclaimer, I do own one share of GameStop, and I also own two puts on GameStop for, I believe it's $33 on my puts, uh, just checking those guys out, because I do actually believe that we are going to see this, like, puttering off. We're going to see a slow and steady bleed over the next couple of weeks on GameStop, going down to this, like, $15 to $20 range is where I think it's going to have mass support. And then it could potentially shoot back up when the, the earnings report comes out in March. But that is still, you know, 45 days roughly away from right now. So we have a lot of pain coming in the foreseeable future, in my opinion. And the reason I say this is because there's nothing good that could come out. Like, the only good thing, we talked about this yesterday in the video, the only good thing that could come out, Ryan Cohen says something, GameStop says something, um... Another like billionaire millionaire comes out and support like Mark Cuban and actually buys the stock. Uh, Elon Musk tweets about the stock, but you know, he's big on dog coin right now and he's, he's doing that stuff. Uh, so like you need a big catalyst. You need something to happen to spark and light this fire again in GameStop. And it just, I don't think it's going to happen. People are talking about 2.9 and the short interest report that will give them some motivate motivation and some hype. Because the short interest is probably going to be pretty damn high at that point. It probably will be back up to about that 100% mark, is my guess. And so people will be like, hey, this is an opportunity. The squeeze is still there. We can still squeeze the shorts. Let's do it. But you still you need money. Not only do you need to buy and hold, like buying is key. You need to just constantly be pumping more money into the stock. So retail investors don't have this endless supply of money. So even if good information comes out, they may not have that much money. You, you need the help of you know millionaires and billionaires to help push the stock up as well. Retail investors are strong together, apes strong together. Yes, it's true. But we have limited supply of money. We're, we're not filthy rich. And you know a lot of people, if you look at Wall Street Bets, we're going to take a look here at Wall Street Bets. What has happened? Uh, a lot of the people only have, you know, five shares, 10 shares, 15 shares. Like they have small amounts of shares. And you see, uh, you know, people are talking about media corruption. So this is huge because so the media is still very, very negative on GameStop. So media confirms this is according to, to Wall Street Bets, uh, you know, not specifically saying this is true or not. But media confirms Robin Hood was used and is being used to directly manipulate the market. This is very serious and must be investigated by the SEC. 9000 people agree with this, upvoting this on Reddit. And you can see the headlines here. GameStop AMC shares climb after Robinhood lifts the trading restrictions. GameStop shares climb 15% in pre-market after Robinhood lifts trading restrictions and so forth. There's several other articles about that as well. And now they're like, this is why we need to stop putting time and squeeze. So you get your memes coming back again.
And then the stories about people going after, then you have the stories about people going after DFV circulating online again. So like the media covers, it just, just, you know, more negative than positive. And we need the positive press to help spike this back up until it gets low enough where we have enough power to move it. Because right now, if we take a look at GameStop, we see that the market cap of the company is actually quite big. Let's take a look at the market cap here. All right, market cap, we're at 4.3 billion. So that's fairly big. When it started, GameStop was at like a couple hundred million. Uh, if we go down and this stock price goes down to $30, that means we're becoming a $2 billion market cap company, which is great. That means we have a lot more power. If it even goes down further, if it goes down to $15 stock, that means the company is only $1 billion and we have even more power. So as the market cap, as the value of the stock goes down, we get more power with our money. So this is what Mark Cuban talked about. A lot of people were quoting about this. They're like, yeah, when Robinhood it, you know, releases trading, there's going to be a spike. Mark Cuban predicted pretty much all of this stuff. And he said that when they release the restrictions, there's going to be a spike. Yes, there was a spike. Now it bled off because there's just not enough money to be pumped back in the system. It's hard to move a 4.3 billion market cap company. This is what people found out about silver and stuff. And yes, I am long silver. I own silver. Uh, I think it is a great long-term investment, but it's hard to move 4.3 billion in market cap. It's very, very hard to do that. That's why you want to go to a place like MoneyGram, who's only 500 million market cap, and it could be very easily pushed up by simply a few retail investors. So always look at this market cap. Market cap is one of the most important stats on a stock. So when you're looking for a company to go after and attack, essentially, you want to look at market cap and see if it's big or small. You, you don't see anyone talking about like, let's go attack, uh, you know, Tesla. Let's go double Tesla because the market cap on Tesla is insane. It's like $850 billion. You don't see people talking about go attack AT&T or go attack um, like Apple. Like these are huge, massive companies and the retail investor doesn't have billions of dollars to throw around. You know, we've got a couple hundred bucks maybe here and there for generally for most people. So if you attack a smaller market company, you can actually make the stock go up or go down depending on what you do. If you short it, if you buy it and so forth. So for the retail investor, the where the money is going to be made, in my opinion, is in these small market cap companies. And there's some research about this, too. If you check the news and the media, you'll see that the people are, are catching on to this, that, yeah, the small cap companies, the penny stocks also are seeing dramatic growth because retail investors have a lot more power the smaller the company. Anyway, guys, that is the update for GameStop today on February 5th, and we will see what happens on Monday next week. Uh, that should be a very interesting day. We are getting very, very close to the short information coming out. I believe that comes out on Tuesday to 9. So that stuff could be a great catalyst, maybe. But again, I don't think we have the money. So the next thing we talked about is we need the stimulus checks. And that's being touted as sometime as, you know, early uh, March. So we need money, for one. We need a catalyst. We need something to light a fire under everybody's asses and get them to go to buy GameStop again. And then, yeah that that can just snowball like we need that that's what you want we, we need the momentum back in the favor of the players of the people but right now the hedge funds have all the momentum even though they had this temporary setback here it the hedge funds still have all the momentum guys they are winning right now and it is a battle it's a war we won last week a little bit they're winning this week you know it's fair it's back and forth sure media has a huge impact on this the media can push the thing up media can push the thing down so it's not necessarily directly manipulation. The media is just covering what's happening in the stock. And yes, media does have power. Just like each and every one of us has power. Every time that you talk about a stock or talk about something to somebody else, you have power. You might influence them slightly into buying or selling the stock. So if you want GameStop to live, you need to go and buy products from GameStop. You need to buy the stock. You need to tell everybody and your mother about GameStop and tell them why it's a good company and why they should buy it. You need to do that. You need to get long and you need to get loud like Mark Cuban said. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.